And welcome to another episode of Toronto Guy Cooks here, Season 3. The PETA season, PETA, people eating tasty animals. Today uh, we are going to be making a very good, very awesome chicken penne alfredo. And we're going to start, as you see I got my pasta water boiling, we're going to start by adding about, uh, this is about one pound of penne, there we go. Alright, let it cook, you can set it, there we go, for about 10 minutes. Let's give it some uh, salt in the water, ah yeah, it's going to be good baby. Well don't worry, don't worry, you're going to be on fam. you're going to get your intro soon, just chill. Bloody hell, what are you, a friggin' woman or something man, shit? Your time's coming. Let's give it a mix. There we go. Cook your pasta as per the instructions. Ah, and while the pasta's cooking, we're gonna keep making our chicken penne alfredo. Now, you can't have chicken without chicken. And of course, today's willing volunteer does, uh, here we go, here we go. I have two nice sized chicken hooters. Uh, this, this, this chicken did have a name. <laughs> It had a name! This chicken's name was Nugget. So let's hear it for Nugget. All right, uh, let's, uh, all right, so there, let's, 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 ooh, ooh, Nugget had some nice hooters. Nice hooters, Nugget. Oh, squeezy, squeezy. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I need to, well, we need to cut up Nugget. Yeah, we're gonna cut you up. That's the whole point. So I'm gonna cut up Nugget and I'm gonna turn uh, Nugget's hooters from this into this. All right, so we cut up Nugget. Now Nugget was having a great time volunteering for this bit. Cut up Nugget into like, you know, bite-sized strips and there we go. So what I'm gonna do, I guess you can see this part. We're gonna season Nugget's Hooters with some salt and pepper, however much you want. Yeah, there we go. Don't wanna use too much, at least I don't, because you know, we're gonna have, be adding stuff which is gonna be adding flavors to it. So there we go, just some salt and pepper. Let's just, yeah, oh, Nugget, your hooters are so soft. Oh, so soft. Nugget was having an amazing time. Can you see Nugget? There we go. There you go, Nugget. There we go. Get Nugget nice and coated in that salt and pepper. There we go for our chicken penne alfredo. Ah, there we go. I think Nugget's all nice and covered in my hands and in salt and pepper. Right on. Now let me just uh, rinse off my hands real quick. All right, let's give our penny another stir. Our penny has about another five minutes. And we're gonna add, okay, about two tablespoons of oil. I always use extra virgin olive oil. You can use whatever oil you want. I use EVOO. All right, you see it's smoking. I've had my pan heating up on medium high heat for a good long time. There we go, yeah. Ah. We're gonna add nugget, all of nugget. There you go. Get in there, nugget. And we're gonna brown the nugget. We're gonna brown the breast, the boobs. Uh, basically cook them through for about five minutes and then set them aside. So let's add nugget. There you go, nugget. What's that? I know, right? It feels so good. Wow. Let's separate them a bit. There we go. Spread it out. There we go. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, it smells. You smell so good, Nugget. Holy moly. Oh. There we go. Let's give. Use a different spatula now that we've touched Nugget. We 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 touch Nugget's boobs with this. So now we got to use a different spatula to keep our pasta stirred. Got another three minutes or so for the pasta. The sizzle of, of nugget should die down eventually, so it won't be so loud. I mean, nugget, I mean, this, you see, you hear all this? This is nugget having the time of her life. Nugget, you're so lucky. Let's hear it for nugget. All right. Cook nugget up. After another minute or so, we're gonna flip all the, all the chicken boobs around. Another three, two and a half inch minutes for our pasta. Looking good. Now, I've never made this before. I looked up recipes and I saw the basic ingredients and the basic instructions and here we go. So you're all getting to see me make this for the first time ever. And I'm sure it's gonna be awesome. Let's hear it, all right. So let's, uh, there we go. Let's start flipping Nugget over. Flip over our boobs. Get them brown on the other side too. All right, love it. Ah. Now I've said this before on episodes of Toronto Guy Cooks, when you're cooking meat, 
it's good to get the meat down to room temperature. You don't want to take it directly from your fridge and put it into the heat because it won't cook all the way through. In the middle, it'll still be cold. I mean, for example, you take a piece of chicken out of the freezer and it's frozen, you put it right into a pan. After a few minutes, like the outside will look cooked, right? But the inside will still be frozen. That's why you want to let it get down to about room temperature, your meat. And then when you cook it, it'll cook evenly all the way through and it'll be super awesome. Right on. Come on, Nugget. Let's hear it for Nugget, everybody. All right. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, baby. There we go. Flip you over. There you go. You need to see the other side of the pan, too. All right. You, too. There we go. There we go. All right. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, another minute for our pasta. Uh, it's looking good. Now, you might be thinking, Toronto guy, you're cooking the pasta already. Isn't it going to be all messed up? No, it ain't. We're going to set it aside. We're going to make an awesome sauce. Nugget's going to be swimming in awesomeness. And then I'm going to be eating in Nugget Big Hooter Greatness. All right, patreon.com slash Toronto guy. Don't have to give me money. It'd be good if you did. I mean, look at this setup I have. If you all gave me money, as little as like a couple thousand a month, I can get a full studio. Like, holy moly. All right. There we go. Let's get Nugget cooking for another minute or a couple minutes. Uh, you want it cooked as much all the way through as possible without burning it. Ah, there we go. Ah, yeah, let's let Nugget have some more time. There you go. What's that? What's that? Oh, I know, right? It's like a, it's like, it's like a spa. It's like Nugget is being pampered. Man, I mean, think of all Nugget's relatives who are just sitting on the farm like, oh man, when is it going to be my turn? All right, our pasta's there. There we go. Let's give it one more stir. Ah, lovely. Okay, now we're going to strain our penne, all right, take the heat down. All right, I've strained the penne, going to keep it in the pot. Now add some oil, olive oil to the cooked penne, just a little bit or a tablespoon or so. Okay, we're going to give it a mix up. Now this is going to keep the penne from sticking together and everything as it sits and stays warm, waiting to be added to Nuggets awesomeness. So there we go, give it a little stir. There we go. Get it coated in the oil so it won't, like, hey, you better do Nugget proud, man. I'm just saying, man, got to make Nuggets, uh, make her make her willing volunteership worth it. All right. Cover that up so it'll stay warm. Let's see how, uh, let's see how Nugget's doing. Oh yeah, these are going to be big pieces of chicken, baby, in our uh, chicken penne alfredo. It smells great, man. Just with salt and pepper seasoning on the chicken, it smells awesome. But we're going to make it even better. Love it. All right. Maybe another couple minutes, maybe another minute or two for nugget, and then we'll continue. And we'll get, we'll continue like right now. All right, so nugget is just about ready to be sent off for phase two there we go smelling awesome looking awesome ah uh, yeah now they might seem like big pieces but i like big pieces you know why because you're a man toronto guy you remember exactly because i'm a man so what i'm gonna do give the pasta another shake just to keep the olive oil nice and slick and keep the pasta still nice and uh glossy and awesome now we're gonna take nugget we're gonna take our chicken Ah, oh, yeah. We're going to put it back into the bowl. I have washed it. I want, don't want you know, nugget sloppy seconds in there. Bloody hell. Let's we'll put it back in our bowl. Now, I don't know how the color is going to be, but this to the naked eye is like the orange. I'm sure on camera it's going to be blue. You know? If you all donate, donate money, I can get proper lighting in here and, get a, and then you can all see that this is red. All right? This. So, hey, it's not me. It's all of you. All right? Huh? So, we're going to keep nugget. Uh, to keep the chicken in the bowl, I'm going to cover it to keep it warm. I don't have any uh, aluminum, aluminum foil I ran out, so I'm just going to use a regular plate. Put it over the bowl to let it just stay heating in its own juices and stuff. There we go. And we're going to keep this pan as is as we add a tablespoon of butter. All right, lower the heat to medium high or so uh, medium low. There we go. Tablespoon of butter. About a tablespoon of olive oil. Ah, uh, yeah. And we're going to let it melt. And we're going to continue. Ah, yeah, baby. Oh, what's that? What's that nugget? 
You don't have to rub in the fact that you're having a great time and Nugget's over there sitting in a sauna now, just living it up. Like what if, you know what? You know what? You know what? I'm going to let your friends experience something like this too, just because you have to rub this shit in. I mean, we can't all be as lucky as Nugget, right? You know, contributing to like the world. All right, so let's melt our butter and oil. Ah, yeah. Again, as I said, a medium low heat. Let's give this another shake just to keep it all nice and coated. And oh yeah, baby. Obviously the pot might be a little hot, so unless you're a pro like I claim to be, make sure you use oven mitts or whatever. If you, of course you can just take the lid off and stir it, but I like to do the man thing and just be like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking fuck you up, man. <laughs> all right, here we go. Butter and oil all melted. We are going to add one medium onion chopped. And we are going to cook it in this awesomeness for about three minutes. Ah. Oh, how quickly the onion mixed with the butter and olive oil to give off this amazing, oh my God. Seriously, Nugget, I hate you. I wish I could be you, but we all can't be as lucky as Nugget. You know what I mean? All right, this is gonna be great. I can already tell this is gonna be great, man. Now, as we let this, uh, these onions cook for another minute and a half, minute or so. There's different varieties of Alfredo as far as like Alfredo sauce, Alfredo sauce that you, people will put, well, primarily the, they'll, they'll have, parm, some will have Parmesan in it, some will not. I wanted to put fresh grated Parmesan in this, but unfortunately the market near me was all out. I do however have that uh, grated powdery parmesan stuff that people like, will put on their pasta spaghetti and they say it smells like feet and stuff so I do have that we're gonna add that to it you don't have to add parmesan but hey I want to because I want that extra awesome flavor and so does nugget you know what I mean nugget deserves the best all right and she's getting the best she's gonna get, have a great home temporarily in my belly and then have an even greater home when she's uh, just pooped out and roaming free in the ocean. So there we go. All right. Ah, yeah, yeah, love it, love it, love it. All right, so that's been about two minutes. All right. Now, got a pound of sliced white, that's right, white with the H in front of the W. Mushrooms. Adam. All right, there we go. What do you think you're doing? Hey, you tried to get out of friggin' hanging with Nugget? You're an asshole. Let's give it a stir. We're gonna cook these mushrooms about five minutes. Ah, oh, this is so awesome. Look at the size of these mushrooms, man. These are man-sized mushrooms, man. Man-sized mushrooms for man-sized chicken hooters. That's right, baby. This is a manly meal. That's what Toronto Guy cooks on here, man. Hence, Toronto Guy cooks. He cooks manly meals. That doesn't mean the ladies can't make them for themselves, but bloody hell. This will probably, you see this? This will probably be like, like, Two meals for me, but like 10 meals for like the people who eat with their pinkies raised. So anyway, cook the mushrooms for, let's give this another shake up. All right, just to make sure it stays all nice and coated and yeah. And we're gonna come back when the mushrooms are cooked and we're ready for the next step, which is gonna be right now. All right, so it's been about seven minutes. What I like to do is sometimes I'll put a lid over the pan so the, so the moisture that tries to escape will get back into the pan and help everything cook and it'll still keep the juices and everything. So let's give the pasta another quick uh, roll. There we go, love it. As you can see, it's not sticking together. Olive oil, there we go. Ah, ah. Oh, love it. Beautiful. Let's give it another stir. All right, looking awesome. Mushrooms, they do release their own moisture, so they do shrink slightly, which is great, and that's how they cook. They, they add moisture to the pan, oh, and flavor, and awesomeness. I love it. All right, you know what, Nugget? You are so fortunate to be a part of not only this show, but of my meal. All right, just say it. You know what, just in honor of Nugget, Later on tonight, I'm just gonna masturbate to some big boob porn. And I'm gonna be thinking of you the whole time, Nugget. I am. All right, so, very good. Ah, now, I'm adding three tablespoons of minced garlic. I would usually use fresh chopped garlic, but I have a jar of minced garlic, which, you know, I don't like wasting food, so I'm just adding mince, so it's all good. It's still garlic. There we go, you can add regular garlic. If you're gonna use regular, all, like, you know, cloves, uh, use three cloves of garlic 
There we go. I'm gonna give it a stir. Ah, ah! Smell the garlic getting in there with the with the, with the uh, mushrooms and, oh, and the onion and everything. The butter, oh, for real. All right, let's give it a stir. Cook slightly, but only for about 30 seconds. There we go. We don't want to burn, mess up any of the garlic or anything. There we go. Lovely, lovely. All right. And now it's time to start building our cream sauce. This is three and a half cups of half and half. You can use a full. Uh, heavy cream. I'm using half and half because I believe in diversity. <laughs> so let's pour it in there. There we go. Oh, look at me getting it all over the place. As I've said many times before, if you don't make a mess when you're cooking, then you're a failure. All right, so there we go. As you can see, look, onions, onion parts there. I'm not a failure. So there we go. Let's mix this, give it a nice little stir. All right. This is going to be our cheese, or the cheese sauce. Well, we're going well, to add Parmesan. We're going to add that after. There we go, give it a mix. And we're gonna cover it up, raise the heat to medium high, give this another shake. There we go. And we're gonna just let our mushroom mixture and cream mixture simmer for about eight to 10 minutes before we continue. And don't, oh, don't worry, don't worry, Nugget. You're getting your chance soon. What's that? Well, you can't be a porn star. Let me look at you now. Bloody hell, you're all cut the fuck up. All right, so we'll come back in about eight to 10 minutes or also known as right now. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Oh, oh sorry. All right, so yeah. All right, so that's good now. One thing I forgot to mention that last bit is that this is also, as we're making our sauce, we want it to, as it's cooking, to start thickening. So cook it uncovered, stirring constantly because it is milk after all, dairy. You don't want it to burn. And as the steam is going out, that's the moisture escaping and that's gonna help thicken the sauce. As I said, you can also use uh, like heavy cream if you want it really thick. I'm just using half and half because I'm not racist, unlike all of you. <laughs> all right, now, now it's time. Oh, here we go. Yeah, here you go, Nugget. Here you go. We're gonna put the, we're gonna put chicken boobs back in. All right. Oh, there you go, Nugget. No, don't be afraid. Get in a nice milk bath. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh man. Ah, there we go. Love it. Let's give it a little mix up. Ah, ah, lovely, lovely. Smell the mushrooms. A lot of people aren't fans of mushrooms. I like mushrooms. I won't eat them raw, but as long as they're cooked and seasoned, then I think they're great, man. So there we go. Let's give it another little mix up. Awesome. Ah, beautiful. All right. Now we're going to add some fresh chopped parsley this is about half a cup there we go let's add it in there parsley doesn't have much flavor to it it's just got it just it's like a flavor somewhat uh uh de enhancer like it takes it it it, it balances shit out all right plus it's got some great color it's got that nice heavy green color i love it i'm gonna give our friggin chicken uh penny alfredo some awesome awesome visual stimulation all right give it a mix up ah uh, Excellent, excellent, excellent. And now I'm going to add, this is about, uh, maybe about one to one and a half to two tablespoons of the processed stinky feet Parmesan. As I said, I didn't have any fresh. The place, across the, place uh, across the street didn't have any fresh, so I had some of this, so let's use this. Now, as I said, there are some uh, Alfredo sauce recipes out there that don't use Parmesan, so it's up to you, whatever you like to do. So there we go, let's give it another mix up. Ah. Oh, I can smell the Parmesan mixing with the creaminess of the milk and the mushrooms and, oh, so awesome. Let's mix it all up nicely. All right, now what I'm going to do, you can either add the pasta, the cooked pasta into the pan or the pan into the pot. I'm going to add the pan into the pot because it's a lot of pasta. I don't want it overflowing in the pan. So let's add our pan of chicken hooters and mushrooms and cream into our cooked pasta. Cooked pa pasta, thanks to its uh, starchiness, will also help thicken the sauce. We're almost done. There we go. There we go. Lovely. There you go. There you go, Nugget. Isn't that awesome? What's that? Of course it's awesome. All right. Ah, let's give it a stir. Excellent. 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 Give it all a nice mix up. Ah. There we go. Now what I'm probably going to do is after I mix this up is I'm going to put this back into the pan because the pan is, you know, has more like 
that much more space as opposed to the pot which is like up pans or width so I want to just mix it all up without spilling anything over and then we're gonna put this back into the pan there we go ah beautiful oh that was great let me put some salt and pepper in it to taste we're gonna some salt and some pepper give it another oh man pepper man pepper is such an underrated spice man when you add it to stuff and then you, you get punched in the face with the awesomeness just the combination of the pepper and whatever it's being mixed with is so great man so pepper oh uh, you're so lucky nugget you're so lucky you get some pepper uh, and so am I because I get pepper too <laughs> all right there goes nice mixed up let's give it uh, an extra little manly boost there we go let's go like this there we go all right put it back into our pan There we go, now it's all mixed. And there we go. Ooh, little mushroom think it's not gonna play. Hey, you're gonna play with Nugget, whether you like it or not. Now let's spread it out. Ah, excellent, excellent. There we go. Now I'm going to put the lid on. Turn off the heat. There we go, let's remove it from the heat. And we're just gonna let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes during this process the sauce will thicken we'll give it another stir we'll plate it and i will eat it as you all just sit and watch we'll be right back right now all right so it's been 15 minutes that it's just been settling and doing its thing ah ah yes smells great there we go let's give it another mix up get the cream up to the top the cream has thickened slightly it's not totally thick as I said you want it you want a thick thick sauce use heavy cream I used half and half because I am not racist unlike all of you all right ah oh, smells good man you can smell the mushrooms and uh, oh you can smell the cream and the Parmesan a little hint of Parmesan it's phenomenal good Lord nugget well done nugget you're such you're such a lucky nugget let me give me taste you um mm. oh Oh, nugget. Oh, mmm. Finger licking hooters. Holy crap, that's great. Oh. Oh, man. All right. Ah, yeah. Let's give it a mix. Gonna put it in a bowl. And enjoy, all right. Give my bowl. Hey, you get out, man. You've had enough of nugget, all right? You've been fucking with nugget all friggin' day. All right, there we go. Ah. Ah, there we go. Put some in there, baby. Let's get some big pieces of chicken so people can see Nugget. You know, got them, you know, let Nugget's uh, voluntarism uh, not go in vain. You know what I mean? Yeah. So there we go. That's probably good. Let's uh, strain it up nicely. Here we go. Have some Nugget on the top. Let me get a paper towel and wipe the edge. There we go. Just for the picture to make it presentable. There we go, lovely. Let's get some of that uh, sauce on the bottom. Let's bring it, let's drizzle some of it on the top of our lovely, oh, don't need too much. Well, at least I don't need too much of it. You know, sometimes I like a lot of sauce and other times, you know, you only need a little bit because everything else just fills out the rest of it. There we go. And finally, just to do nugget proud, I'm gonna add some fresh uh, parsley on top for visual stimulation and there we go as usual because you all don't give me enough money unlike Freeman and Beard Boy and Jimmy the lighting doesn't do any justice so we'll just have to take a picture and insert it here and there you have it chicken penne alfredo let's have another round of applause for Nugget hey okay. well thank you Nugget and there we go let me just have another taste of the pasta in the sauce, let me just have another bit. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's excellent. I love the mushroom, how it goes with everything else. Love it. Anyway, patreon.com slash Toronto guy. Give me money, man. Just give me money. As little as a dollar or as much as as much as you want. Just come on, man. Anyway, 
Thanks for watching. This has been Toronto Guy Cooks, the PETA season. People eating tasty animals, and Nugget was indeed tasty. And join us next week, where we will be eating another tasty volunteer animal here on Toronto Guy Cooks. And we'll see you then.